Welcome back to Quicker Liquor Finders Crazy Drunken Arrest of the Week. This week was full of drunken idiots, so it was difficult to choose just a handful. We did our best to choose the ones that we believe you will like the most. Be sure to subscribe and like. Yada yada yippee. Here we go. First up this week comes from Connecticut. Police in West Haven, Connecticut received a rude awakening from 35-year-old Amy LaFrance. The suspect was located outside of a CVS building. She was so stoned that she had difficult time standing up straight. She pleaded with the cops, please don't arrest me, Mr. Mister. Police reassured her she wasn't in any trouble, but she didn't listen. She tried to book it from police several times before she was finally slammed to the ground and handcuffed. Eventually, she was put in an ambulance and taken to the hospital. Before that, though, she karate kicked a cop in the stomach. A warrant was put out for her arrest, and she eventually turned herself in. Had this lunatic kept her pie hole zipped, she might have made it off scotch-free. When you get arrested, you really find out who your friends are. An intoxicated driver, tra driver in Ellsworth, Michigan, experienced this firsthand when they were pulled over and arrested in River Falls. When the suspect was allowed to leave the jail, they needed a ride. Of course, they called a female friend. Unfortunately, that woman arrived and she was visibly drunk as well. The police made sure that she didn't drive home. She might not have been the sharpest knife in the drawer, but she proved to be a loyal friend. Put a ring on that finger. Third up is a 21-year-old man from Niceville, Florida. Don't you just hate stubbing your toe, getting smoked in Call of Duty, or running out of beer? I know how I handle these situations. I slam my fist into the wall until my knuckles bleed. The 21-year-old man from Niceville felt the same. After getting drunk and crashing his vehicle onto the, in the campus of Northwest State Florida College, the man was approached by authorities. He swayed from side to side and reeked of alcohol. Then, he unleashed his true power level and slammed his fist into his automobile several times. Police officers probably laughed a few times before throwing Tyson into the back of the squad car. Luckily, co lucky the cops probably witnessed a better fight than the fools throwing out a hundred bucks on Mayweather and McGregor. Fourth up comes from Odessa, India. For this one, I'm not sure whether to laugh or cry. Balaram Mookie is a street sweeper and a habitual drinker. When Bal Balaram ran into tough times, he did what he thought was best. The Indian man sold his 11-month-old son for 25,000 rupees. That equates to roughly $389. With that money, he went out and bought himself a new phone. No, it wasn't an iPhone. It was a $31 phone, probably a Nokia. He also bought a silver anklet for his daughter and tons of alcohol. The buyer of the baby, a Somathi Sethi, and his wife wanted a new baby after losing their 21-year-old 21 21 son in 2012. The couple thought a new child would help the wife overcome her depression. The bizarre tale is funny, but slightly depressing as well. Next up is a 13-year-old from North Carolina. This boy needs a good hiding. On September 6th, the 13-year-old OG sucked down a four loco before taking his parents' vehicle for a joyride. The youngster was clocked going 100 miles per hour in Clinton before being pulled over by police. There's a good chance officers shat bricks when they saw PP Gangster behind the wheel. Eventually, the boy admitted to drinking and driving. He also flunked a breathalyzer. Deputies are working with the parents to come up with a suitable solution for the boy. According to us, the boy needs a few good lashes, or maybe daddy should humiliate him with one of those terrible haircuts that YouTube loves so much. Last but certainly not least, we have an American bad arse from Lexington, North Carolina. 33-year-old Christopher Chase Watson just wanted to party all summer long. He was drinking funny things and trying different things, like calling, prank calling the authorities. Only God knows why this guy thought it'd be a good idea to prank call Davidson County's 911 center, but he did. After Bull God got a hold of the authorities, he began threatening them right away. At one point, he told the dispatcher that he would urinate on the faces of the deputies when they arrived at his door. Before deputy authorities arrived, Watson sat there trying to find himself. He rewinded himself and had a change of heart. He was arrested without whipping out his wing. Now, we know every man pees just like me, 
But we're not no we're nothing like this guy. Knockoff Kid Rock was arrested, transported to Davidson County Jail, and held on a five thousand dollar bond. Well, we hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Quicker Liquor Finders Crazy Drugs. We can't wait to hear from you next time. Be sure to let us know what you think in the comment section below. Again, all suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law.